What's up, recruit? What's up? Welcome to our first show, of Finish the Batter. I'm your host, Colton. And I'm your host, Maddie. We want to thank you for tuning in and being a part of this lineup. If you want to be in the lineup, subscribe to our channel and turn the notification subscribe bell on. down below. That's what I'm talking about. But subscribe and turn that notification bell on turn so you on. don't miss any episodes. You never want to miss an episode. So guys, we have a lot of great content. In a lot of great stuff. Every week. We're going to be talking about travel ball. All, you know, and we're not just locally, but nationwide. There's so many great teams. I mean, you've got, you know, the new Alliance Fast Pitch. You've got, you know, the Texas Fast Pitch League, the California Fast Pitch League. You've got the Heartland of America. You've got, you know, PGF goes on every year. There's just so much to talk about. We're going to be talking about high school ball as well. We've got uh, state playoffs here in Texas coming up. Woo! <laughs> Playoffs. There you go. And then we've also, you know, in the college ball, you know, the the, uh, st the national tournament's coming up for D1, and then D2 and D3 has theirs. So we're, we're going to really delve in, into those as well sometimes. And then what you got? So we're also going to be talking about the recruiting process. And just as a whole, yeah. we're also going to be talking about my recruiting process and everything that I went through to get to where I am today. Um, we're also going to be pulling special guests onto the show so that they can talk about their recruiting process, their um, feelings about it, what they went through, and just everything like that. And it's going to be people that I've played with. It's going to be people that I played against and just their um, thoughts as a whole. So, yeah. I think it's going to be great because... Really exciting stuff. I think it's going to be great because the, the big thing is I don't see too many shows like this. And I think Absolutely. that you've got so many players out there, right, that don't know what to do, don't know where to start, or or in the middle of it and are overwhelmed. And, and, mm -hmm. and I think every athlete, when they're being recruited goes through that overwhelming process like oh my gosh and i think this is going to help so many people and i'm looking i'm looking really forward to that what do you think well i think it's going to be a great tool for young girls young guys and any sport i mean not just softball any sport that's starting the recruiting process it's starting to get looked at by colleges i really think that it's going to be a great tool to use you can get um tips from me tips from him tips from other special guests that are going to be on the show and just to help all of you guys so i'm really excited about what the show is going to bring so yeah so guys real quick and just a quick tip Enjoy the process of recruiting. Enjoy it only it. happens one time. It's awesome. It is awesome. And it might be overwhelming at first, but don't be overwhelmed. And I know that's so much easier said than done, but truly, and it's it's one of the most amazing experiences I've ever been through in my life. And I know that it will definitely help you guys in the future. So just don't be overwhelmed and enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And, and parents, one tip for you guys, support them. You know, if they want to go on a visit, take them because like I said, it only happens once and you'll actually enjoy it sometimes more than they will because <laughs> you're not the one making the decision. <laughs> okay. So. so, all right. So now we will kind of want to introduce each other just so you can guys can kind of get to know us. I'm going to, we're going to go with my co-host Maddie first. Maddie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, all right, guys, my name is Maddie. Um, I've been playing softball since I was eight years old. Um, I'm 17 now. I just turned 17 yesterday, actually, which is kind of dope. Um, I'm a junior at Grand Oaks High School. I play for the varsity squad, and I'm the starting catcher. Um, as far as like travel ball goes, I play for a 16U Illusions Gold National Reyes. Um, I love those girls, and I love my high school team, Great team. Um, with every yeah. ounce of me. Um, <laughs> both teams are so amazing, and I can't wait to finish out my high school career with my high school team and my select career with my select team. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit about me. How about you? Okay, so I'm her dad, obviously. That's my dad. <laughs> Right. My, my man, um, my man. I, you know, I coached her for a long time up until, up until the second year 12U. At that point, I decided that I had, I was not equipped for where she needed to go to, to get her to that level where she's at now, where, you know, she's going through the recruiting process and tips for parents who are coaching, know your limits. You know, don't don't just do it because you you know it it, it is a you know you want to be around them. I want to be around my daughter all the time, but I had to get to the point where I I knew that the best thing for her was supporting her and being a parent in the stands. Absolutely. Um. And 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 to me, I wouldn't change the thing. Mark's done a phenomenal job coaching her, pushing her, and and that's the most important thing. Have somebody push your kid to be the best they can be. Shout out to Coach Mark. Woo hoo. All right, guys, now we're going to talk about Maddie and how her high school season is going. Maddie? Oh, my goodness. High school season is going awesome. Our district record is 4-3, and three, and our overall high school record, like, for games this entire season, um, in district and out of district, is 17-5. and five. We're doing really well. That's so awesome. I'm so proud of all of our girls. So just, like, as far as, like, the team goes, we've got five seniors, um, three sophomores, and the rest are juniors and one freshman. 
so um it's been going super great i'm so proud of everyone um like we have all of our five seniors are committed we've got two d1 players a juco player and uh two d3 players mm -hmm. so super proud of all of them um and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and like recap the game against conroe yeah tell us about that it was actually um the first one i'm gonna cover that one a little bit first one a couple weeks ago I'll tell you this about Conroe. Um, they're scrappy. They're scrappy. They're they don't so give up. I, I, shout out to those coaches. They they coach them how to not give up. Um, the first game we were up nine to three. They came back mm -hmm. and uh, it came down to the very last out. It was we ended up winning nine to six, but they had the bases loaded. It was, bases it was loaded. Crazy. It was so crazy. We had um, two outs, bases loaded, and. Yeah, so our right fielder Morgan was playing up a little bit. Their hitter hit a base hit right over Alley at second base. Morgan came up, fired that ball to me at home, and I picked it out of the dirt. And one run scored. So then I look over at third base, and there's a runner like like in the pickle with us. And so she's running back to third. I throw it to Avery. Avery tags the girl out, and it was so crazy. We were jumping up and down. I mean, it you would have thought they would just won state champ state championships. championships. But you know what? For our team, that was a big win for us. We, you know, we've really been fighting to like have that team chemistry and just win as a team. And really, everyone put in their full effort. And that game was a game where we yep. put in our full effort. We fought for that. And so I'm so proud of all the girls. I could probably say yeah. that you know maybe last year uh, they probably don't win that game. Yeah. Um, Last year, we really struggled to like, um, just like have team like bonding. We struggled to have that really yeah. that good chemistry, that team morale. And this year, it's so much different. We, I mean, we're just we're there, and everyone tries for each other. We all, I mean, it's it's just a completely different team to me. And what's crazy is it's mostly all the same players. <laughs> um, it's mostly all the same players. We just like had we all just kind of like grew up and just had like. A turnaround and what it's just so crazy to me but yeah so the game last night against conroe was so awesome um she had a great catch behind the plate a uh, diving catch in front of the plate on a, on a pop-up bunt and i'm gonna put that cut that into the video so you guys can see it Um, and that was awesome. I, it was so crazy because the girl that hit the ball, she, um, she's a UCLA commit, double sport. She plays basketball and softball and she's committed in full rides for both sports. Let me just say full ride. And she popped up a bunt and I dove and caught it, which was really cool. Um, and then you can see in the video, like everyone's like, oh my gosh, jumping up and down. So that was really cool. And it was also my birthday. So that was like extra special too. Um, and then everyone was hitting, everyone was hitting so awesome. We had so many hits. How many we had? Like 11? I had something like that. Well, I think it was more like 13 at the end. 13 yeah. at the end. Yeah, so we had 13 hits, and the last score was 9-4. to 9-4, that's nine to correct. Four. Yeah, so that was really, really, really awesome. I do have a shout-out to one person on the Conroe team, number 17. I don't know if you're watching this. You foul off t pitches like oh nobody's my business. Oh, my goodness. She you fouls. are a tough out, and Dude. I tell you what, I hand it to you because – Anybody that can sit there and, you know, take 10 pitches, 12 pitches, 14 pitches in an at-bat every single time, good for you, kid. Yeah, she's a catcher. Yeah. Um, oh, that's right. She is a catcher, yeah. Yeah, and she um, fouled it off and fouled it off and fouled it off forever. It was it was like the longest at-bat in the history of softball. I think but Courtney it was, was laughing at one point. <laughs> at one point, we were like, dude... She's either going to hit the ball or she's going to get on. And like, you know what's like, funny, like, though? No every out. time, she hits. Yeah. She'll go through 10, you know, and... And she'll foul off, foul off, foul off, foul off. And she and it seems like she's late. And then all of a sudden she gets a hit up the middle every single every time. time. Every time. Get it, girl. You know, I, I mean, go off, I guess. Um, but, yeah, so we're also qualified for playoffs now. So we're tied in third place. Yeah. We're also tied in third place with the Woodlands. So it's it goes um, in our district because we're 6A. Um, it goes Oak Ridge, Willis. And then we're tied with the Woodlands for third. And then College yeah. Park, Conroe. Mm -hmm. That's I'm correct. Sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. If they um, can beat, if they can uh, beat Woodlands, um, I think that they should move into second place. But I tell you what, they finish the season with Willis and Oak Ridge, and those those two games are going to be tough. Oak Ridge, Oak Ridge has got some hitters. Oh my gosh, the Oak Ridge is crazy. <clears throat> the other night or last night, I think they played um, the Woodlands, and their game was um, it was super close. It was eight to nine. They wow. had bases loaded. Um, Ogreton bases loaded. It was seventh. I think it was pretty sure it was bottom of the seventh. Um, Ogreton bases loaded because um, the Woodlands pitcher kept walking the batters. And Morgan Dutton. I don't know if you know who. If you guys know who that is. If you do, she's cold. Look her up. 
She's committed to Odessa. She's, um, she's, she's good. She's so good. She's so cold. And she came up and hit a Grand Slam home run. <laughs> I was like, Grand Slam walk off. Get a girl. Yeah, and so they won the game, bottom of the seventh. Um, it was really cool. Yeah, so that was all of that. So as far as playoffs now, um, right now we're just now vying for seeding. Uh, I don't know who will play in the first round. We probably won't know that till next week um, once it's all like the games are played. district. So, yeah, so I would say I would Klein or Klein. some yeah, Klein, some, some, some Klein, Klein school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So other than that, I mean, we're, we're going to talk about that as we get closer. So um, <clears throat> now let's, I tell you what, let's talk about uh, travel ball a little bit. Cause you know, it starts in a couple of weeks. You looking forward to the summer? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Um, travel ball is my absolute favorite thing in the whole wide world. Um, I love illusions. It's my home, my family, and just all the girls are so supportive. They're so sweet and such genuine human beings. I love them always. Um, but I'm also very excited. We're also traveling Colorado. We're going, I think, to Dallas at one point. Um, Maybe over to Louisiana. Louisiana, I, I think. And then possibly like Florida, Oregon or something. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we haven't gotten our schedule yet, but when we do. A lot of it depends on Colorado with, with COVID if, if they're open for the sparkler this year. Not sure yet, but we'll see how that goes. Hopefully they are because um, I am so excited for Colorado. So... Yeah, I'm really almost so excited because we have our first like team practice on Sunday and that's going to be exciting to see everyone. All right, so let's talk a little bit about your recruiting and how that's going. Okay, well, my recruiting process is going pretty well. Um, so I'm actually deciding between six schools. I'm so incredibly blessed to have six offers. It's so crazy to think where I was, you know, a year ago and where I am now. Um, so I guess I'll just go into like each school a little bit. So I have um, three JUCO offers right now. Um, I have one from San Jacinto Junior College. Um, south campus um i'm so blessed to have that one it's so crazy um their campus is so beautiful and they have great coaches coach signs and coach walters they're awesome um i'm i mean they're such great people and coach signs is so incredibly smart she know like she just like knows what she's talking about and like she has so much experience and she i mean she's awesome any and she has like close to what 700 wins or something at the yeah Juco it's like level. it's like 600 she's, she's wins awesome. or something like that it's so awesome their school is so great um, I also have an offer from Heston Junior College, and that's in Kansas. Um, Heston is so awesome. Coach Bell, she is a wonderful, amazing, wonderful person. Amazing coach, amazing she, person. you know, she always reaches out. She always, you know, keeps in touch, and she's so. I mean, she's just so wonderful. Yeah. I, I have so many awesome things to say about Heston. Um, they have their own field. It's so awesome. It's so incredibly well taken care of. Same thing with San Jack. It's so great. They look like they, they look like D one type fields. I mean, absolutely. When, when, when you go on the field. I mean, it's perfect. They're perfectly manicured. It's 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 great. I mean, it's just awesome. Yeah, I'm also so incredibly blessed to have an offer from Coffeeville. Um, they're a community college. They're in Kansas as well. Um, Coach B and Coach Rogers are so incredible. They're so nice and so sweet. Um, they have this really awesome like indoor facility where we like where that's where I did like my trial, where I did hitting and like throwing down and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, that was really fun. And so they have awesome facilities. I also have two NAIA offers, one from McPherson College and one from Sterling College. Um, I'll start off with McPherson. McPherson is so awesome. Um, actually, they were my first um, college to offer me a visit. Um, that's with Coach Tony and um, Coach Segovia. Um, I actually met Coach Segovia at a camp, my first ever college camp that I went to. And he he saw me, he loved like what I did and like my skills and stuff like that. And so he invited me out um, on a visit and it was awesome. They have such beautiful facilities. They have a turf field and their turf field is so beautiful. It's incredible. Incredible, incredible. Yeah, that's awesome. And then Sterling College is amazing. It's a Christian school. Um, it's it's like it's kind of like older, and so like just the like the the feel is more like old and homey, and I love it there. It's so amazing. Um, coach Stoltz is the coach um, for their softball program. She's awesome. She's a Christian just like us. Um, she's really just a mentor to me, and like like not even just like as a coach, but as a person, she's awesome. I love Sterling so much. It's also in Kansas. Um, and then I have one D3 offer, and that's from Shriner. Um, Shriner's here in Texas. Um, like I said earlier at the beginning, um, they're awesome. They have um, a beautiful field. They also like live in apartments. Their players do, um, which is really cool. Like, their apartments are like right next to the field. So, like their apartments are here, and the field's like right here. It's really cool. So they, they, they wake can, up late. They can just go walk like straight to practice. The, yeah, walk across the parking lot to the field. Yeah, it's really cool. Tough life. Tough life. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then um, they have Coach Lynn and Coach K. They're both wonderful human beings, wonderful people, um, wonderful coaches. They give so many, so much great um, criticism and stuff like that. Um, yeah, their school is so awesome. We actually, we actually got to run on a golf cart on our visit. <laughs> um, that was really cool. 
um and yeah so those are the schools that i'm deciding between um i think i have it narrowed down but um you know you never know um so yeah so as far as from a parent's perspective um there's really only i think one school yeah there's only one school out of those that i didn't get a chance to go to and that was um coffeeville um i have talked to the coaches they they're amazing people um yeah. But I can tell you, going to each school, when we started this process, you have no idea what's out there. Like, no. you just don't. You, you you think, you know, everybody, you just see what you, what's on TV. You see, like, D1. and I mean, you re I, mean I had no idea that the NAIA um, division was a division. I just thought it was D1 through D3, and that was it. And then, you know, you really get into the recruiting process, and you really figure out what schools are out there. And the, the big thing is fit. Um, I know that everybody, every girl, every guy has a D1 dream. I do. Um, and, 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 I, and I can tell you, it, it doesn't, when you go through the recruiting process, you're going to find schools that you go, I, I would have never known this school was here if mm -hmm. I didn't have one going through this process. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I can tell you, you know, there's so many JUCOs that I, I had no idea there were so many JUCOs. I mean, I knew about, you know, the big, you know, the the, the ones like San Jack and Navarro and Vernon and Blinn Tyler. and Vernon. I, I mean, I knew about those, but I didn't know, you know, that there was all these schools in Oklahoma and all these other schools. You just, I, and I guess, you know, it's, it's just like we're on our own little world and there's a big old world out there of all these schools. And, you know, as a parent, I can tell you how much of a blessing it is that somebody believes in, in, in your child um, when they offer them. And, and I can't, and, and coaches, you know, um, Coach Signs, Coach Bell, uh, Coach B and Coach Rogers, um, Coach Segovia, uh, uh, Coach Stoltz and, um, and Coach Lynn and Coach K, I can tell you, it is a true blessing. It's such a blessing. It's a it's a true blessing, and I you know I, I almost cry every time I think about it because, guys, until you go through it, it it's a true blessing to to know that you, your child has worked as hard as they have, and to have the, these kind of things and, and to be able to have the choices that they have, and that's when I tell you at the beginning to enjoy the process, enjoy, enjoy the process. it because it it's it's amazing. It's incredible, and you know the feeling of knowing that you're wanted. I mean, obviously, like, you know, in high school, you know, high school ball and, like, select ball is one thing. But being wanted by a college, you know, I've, I've had a college dream playing college. Like, I wanted to play D1 softball when I was 8 years old. I was like, oh, my God, like, that's what I want to do. Like, that's that's my life. That's what I want. And, you know, being, being realistic and being, like, now with COVID and just everything like that, you know, D1 for me is not realistic. Um, and so... I I really, you know, finding the best fit and just really just being wanted is just the craziest thing. Finding your fit, finding what coaches work for you, finding what school works for you, finding like what I here's some here's a tip. Taking your personality and trying to fit it in with each school. Like find traits in yourself that you think mm, would be in that school. Like for example, um, at Sterling, I had um, like like their their whole school is a Christian school. At um, at like for D3 for Shriner, um, they take their like their prides in academics. I take pride in academics. Um, for Heston's, example, Heston's a Christian. Heston's a Christian. Uh, that we had no idea. Yeah. Juco, they're um, a Mennonite. Yeah, they're part of the Mennonite church, Mennonite but church, they're still, yeah. you know, they allow you to go to your own church, you know, on mm -hmm. Sundays and stuff. But again, there's all these stuff out there that you have no idea. No idea about. It's so crazy. The, the recruiting process is just crazy. Recruiting process in the dictionary is with crazy. Like, it's just crazy. Like, that's like the word for it, you know? Yeah. So guys, here's a few of the things we're going to cover on next week's show. We're going to recap her high school games against the Woodlands and Willis. Those are going to be great games. Yep. And we're also going to look ahead to the second game of the Battle of the Oaks against Oak Ridge. That's going to be awesome. Also, we're going to cover my fall season with Illusions and just everything that entailed with that. Also, if you guys have any questions, anything you want to see on the show or just anything like that, yep. make sure you leave a comment down below. Just click the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. And that's and the, the ball, ball game. game. Woo -woo.